All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk about the rectangular marquee tool and the elliptical marquee tool. All right, so let's go to the rectangle marquee tool here. And what I want to do is create a new file. So I'm going to file new. And that way we can see what we're doing here. I'm going to make a new layer. And we're going to do the same thing that we did in the previous video, which is make a rectangle here. And then I'm going to give it fill. So I'm going to select the paint bucket or hit G. And that will auto fill the square here. Okay, so I'm make a couple of these. So all I'm doing is I'm holding Alt and then dragging them all out. Now if I go back to the marquee tool, that's essentially the marquee tool. Now you don't have to make a perfect square. You can make a rectangle like that, which is better if I make a new layer. So let me do that. Okay. Um, okay, so I can make different shapes with the marquee tool. It doesn't have to always be the same shape. You know, I can kind of go like that. Looks kind of cool, right? So that's the point is that you can do different variations of a rectangle with this tool. The other thing is up here, you can add to the selection, subtract from the selection, intersect with the selection, and then add a style, select a mask, etc. Okay. Now the other one I want to talk about is the elliptical marquee tool. So this is more of an oval. So what I'm going to do is I want you to turn off the eye on all the layers. So if you just click and drag down, then you can hide the layers. Okay. Yeah, just do that. Hide all the layers. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And we're going to grab the elliptical marquee tool. And if you hold shift, it'll make a perfect circle. If you don't, it'll make kind of like an oval, oval shape. Hold on one second here. So like this, if I don't hold shift, it'll make kind of an oval. If I hold shift, it'll make a perfect circle. And then if I hit G for the paint bucket, now I have my circle. So I can move that up here. And if I hold alt and drag over, then I can make another one. And let me select a different color. So what I'm going to do is go to the color picker here and grab kind of a red right there and then paste that in there. And then I'll overlap it. And I'm going to grab the black circle layer and then change that to blue. Okay, so there you go. So now we have three elliptical marquee tool circles that I used just using this one tool. Now, like I said, you don't have to make a perfect circle. You can actually kind of get creative with this and do, you know, like an oval. Let's make that green. Okay, then we can make another one. We'll make it yellow. Okay, there you go. So that's the elliptical marquee tool. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you real quick. If you go in here and you select the single row marquee tool, what that's going to do is it's just going to create a line. So if I go in here, let's go to the background and unlock it. If I go here and I put it right here and I hit delete, and then I hit control D to deselect, you're going to see there's a line there. And the same with the single column marquee tool. So if I do this and I hit delete, and then I control D to undo, or deselect I should say, you'll see we have transparent canvas here. Because what it's doing is, if I make a new layer here and I put it below the background and I reset it to default, which is black and white, and I grab the bucket with G and hit click, now it's created a line because what I did was I went 
and I put those two lines in here with the single row marquee tool and the co single column marquee tool. And then I filled it with black. And since white is above the black, it's only going to show where the transparency is. Okay, so in essence, we've used all the tools for the rectangle marquee tools. Well, the, the rectangle marquee tool, the elliptical marquee tool, the single row marquee tool, and the single, single column marquee tool. All right, so let's save this. And we're going to save it to the desktop. We'll call it Untitled 2. I'll hit OK. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lecture.